going on everyone? Daniel Rodriguez here. Welcome to my Teen Wolf Season 6 premiere spoiler review. The final season, man. Make sure you have seen the episode. It should take me about two minutes to recap it, then give you the pros, cons, and final score. Thanks so much for joining me. Now I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. I have not seen Teen Wolf since around Season 2 time. That's probably when American Horror Story Asylum was on. Uh, that's probably the last time I ever saw Teen Wolf, man. So I have not seen Season 5 or Season 4 or Season 3. I have seen two or three episodes of Season 2. So I, I, I'm standing here. I have seen Teen Wolf before. I just haven't seen the recent ones lately. I do remember Dylan O'Brien when I was younger seeing him in a scene. I think it was a high school scene. I think it was either a fight in the hallway or it was just them in the hallway talking but I have seen Teen Wolf before I haven't seen the recent stuff but I, I got all caught up online and plus previously on Teen Wolf so I'm, I'm caught up it's the final season I'll make sure to watch all the other seasons probably next year whenever I have free time uh, but I am here the Teen Wolf Kingdom may you let me into your, uh, your, your house uh, I'm very happy to be watching Teen Wolf because I'm going to tell you something. The reason I haven't been watching Teen Wolf over the years is because I always thought it was... I thought it was like a dramatic, like, Twilight-ish sort of thing, like... Ah, you know, but it, it had humor, it has heart, it's funny. Uh, and, and I remember, like, I watched the Shannara Chronicles on MTV. I watched Scream on MTV, and I'm thinking to myself, why didn't I ever watch Teen Wolf? It's actually a fun show... Maybe if someone would have told me a few years ago, hey, watch Teen Wolf, I would have done it, you know, but I, I never did, so I kind of regret that this is the final season, but uh, I'm going to enjoy myself, man. I'm going to watch a week-to-week -week basis and review it for you guys, because it is a very fun show. Anyway, let's get on to the recap for the season six premiere. So we begin this episode with Liam and his girlfriend out in the middle of nowhere, and all of a sudden this car ends up rolling by them. It has been damaged, the window is broken, and there is a kid, a boy named Alex, in the back seat. So he ends up coming out, and he ends up talking about his how he's at the police station, he talks about how his parents were attacked by this mysterious man on a horse. Now, of course, we have, I'm still trying to get used to names here, Styles and Scott, they're investigating. Uh, there's also a cool room, a uh, cool moment where there's a yearbook photo, and he keeps on getting in the way. So I was like, you, maybe you should just back off for a few seconds and then, you know, talk to the girl. But still. Uh, anyway, the kid wants to be in a jail cell, so he's protected in there. Now, Styles and Theo can't leave. Uh, there's this teacher that won't let them leave the school. You know, high school, the way it is. So they're very bored. Uh, and I'm like thinking to myself, how old are these actors? I'm pretty sure they're past the age of... I mean, they look like they're high school students, but they're like, what, 25, 26? They're in their mid-20s, right? I mean, they're not like high school age anymore more of course so uh, so they're bored and they end up going to Alex's home and the parents are not in the photos because they have been erased deleted delete they've been deleted obsolete uh, I'll, I'll fade away and classify myself as obsolete obsolete delete uh, so they've been erased from history man and uh, I guess I, I call, call it the gunman they're like ghost rider ish a wild hunt ish but uh, you know oh, the gunman he ends up shooting at Styles, and the bullets end up missing. There's really no point of impact there. So when uh, Scott and everyone comes up, they kind of like look like you've been attacked. Like yeah, the guy was there. So they go back into Alex's room, and everything has disappeared. So basically, uh, the gunman ends up going and taking Alex out of the jail cell. And uh, I guess people around them get affected. Like Scott and uh, Styles go to the jail cell. They go to the to the police station and they're like, where's the kid? Where's Alex? What kid? There was no kid in the jail cell. Um, yeah, their minds kind of get erased, so that, that's something there. Uh, so everyone forgets about Styles. that's kind of uh, near the end of the episode. Uh, his friends forget about him, except this one girl, I didn't catch her name, but uh, she ends up forgetting about Styles. Obviously the Team Wolf people, you know the name. You know, I'm still, I'm still catching up on stuff, okay? Give me any time. By next week, I'll be a master at Team Wolf, man, I promise you. Just wait. So, even Scott and his dad don't remember Styles. Uh, you know, he calls Scott, he's like, Hey man, where are you? Who is this? You know, okay. Uh, I thought they were playing a g joke at first. I really thought they were playing a joke and then it all started being serious. And I'm like, oh, damn it. Uh, so, Styles is taken at the end. And I, I wanted to cry. It was kind of emotional for me. Uh, I'm, I'm not lying. I'm not saying. I'm being honest. My tear, like, tears started to come down because uh, he was in the car with a girl and he was like, I love you. And I just don't know. I just 
imagine being in that situation and you're about to be like taken from the wild hunt and everything like it's it's just, it's I don't know it's she can't see them and then she ends up forgetting about him like he says try to remember me and the next day she goes to school she's like I felt I had to do something so she forgot as well when is my uh when, when's Dylan O'Brien coming back man you can't take out the main boy from Teen Wolf like that final season I uh, we need to see him somewhere we, you know I obviously Styles is not dead uh he he's just in another realm or he's not existent to them. But I'm pretty sure he's in another realm, and maybe we'll see his point of view uh, soon, hopefully. I really would like to see his point of view and see where he's at. Justice for Barb, justice for Styles. Anyway, now on to the pros and cons. Starting off with the pros, just like I said a few seconds ago, the whole ending was Styles getting erased from history and how emotional it was. Now, I can imagine how emotional it is for people who have watched all six seasons or over the years since the beginning from Teen Wolf. But for someone coming into Teen Wolf who hasn't seen in many years, and it's still being emotional, that's something, man, and how they did their job and the acting and the writing. And something that really caught my eye with Teen Wolf that I didn't notice is it has humor, and the humor is really fun, just like how Scream has humor in there and just the writing and the way that they implement humor in there. But not only that, it's something that got me was the mythology behind it and the, the wild hunt and, and, I guess, the supernatural things that happen in that city and maybe what they've encountered over the years. That interests me a lot. I, I like how it, it's fun and and edgy in the characters that we have. But what a way to end the season six premiere. Styles being erased from history and his friends and the people he love don't remember him whatsoever. That is a scary situation. Another thing that I really enjoyed about this episode was the CGI effects, especially the way the gel was when the kid Alex was going to be taken. We didn't see the Wild Hunt guy or the, the Ghost Riders, they call him. We didn't see him take the kid, but the way the ceiling was breaking and cracking in half and it opens, it's like a portal opens. That was pretty cool. And like I said earlier in the review, I didn't expect Teen Wolf to have a lot of humor. I didn't know that all the MTV shows were like almost the same in a way, like when music's playing it says music artist by this and at the bottom and everything. So I really didn't know that it kind of had that same pattern style probably with almost every MTV show. But the, the most funniest joke I probably laughed at during this, I don't laugh a lot, but I only laughed at certain scenes. Uh, but the, the one scene that I think I really like <laughs> I laughed out loud and I guess I'd say is the yearbook photo. Also, this is not important to the episode, but something I found really cool was the intro. Now, I'm pretty sure they changed the intro from season two to season six. It's been a long time. Uh, but th just the way it was done, and I guess the way they transform into the creature, you know, into the beast or how they do that. And last but not least for the pros, the mythology behind the wild hunt. I guess if they're going to be the main protagonist during season six and they make people forget their minds and they could erase people from time, how do you stop somebody that can erase you from time and make people forget about you like how do you how do you fight that like what do you do to even get near them if there's three or four of them or even more of a group that's just crazy so the idea behind it and how interesting it is and and altogether i think it was a really good premiere and the only thing that I just didn't like during this episode, and this is just for this episode, this is not for the season, this is not this or that, it's just for this episode alone, they the way they were presented. Again, I don't know some of these characters that well. Now, Liam and his girlfriend, and, and I don't know the guy's name, just the, the black guy, the, them, the group, the three group they were in, they, they were with, you know, they were in a group most of the episode, I, I thought, whatever, I was like, meh, I'd rather see, you know, Styles and Scott go fight the Wild Hunt or do something and investigate more because all they did was compass and then they really didn't show how they got affected by the Wild Hunt. Like, I mean, they didn't physically show it. And then all of a sudden, Liam runs in because the door was open. Another humor thing that made me chuckle a little bit, just a little bit, the way that it was done. He opens the door, he's like, the door was open. But that's it, and then they don't show him until the end of the episode when their brains are, like, wiped. I, 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 just, I was just kind of like, okay, like, I, they're not horrible characters. I'm just saying, for this episode, I just wasn't interested in them. I'd rather see O'Brien and Posey and them doing stuff than what those characters... I'm not saying they're bad characters again. They could do fine next week, but for this episode alone, I wasn't impressed by them. 
Overall, I thought it was a really good premiere for the final season of Teen Wolf. I am sad that I didn't, you know, start watching years before. Uh, I, I don't know why I didn't stick to watching it during season two. Uh, again, I wasn't really reviewing at that time. I wasn't reviewing Teen Wolf. I think I was just watching it after American Horror Story, and it was on, on MTV, and I watched it. And, and, and I just watched it for a few episodes. I really didn't just, I didn't catch on, so I am kind of sad that I, I, I should have, kept going with it and then after you know twilight was a big thing at the time of, a few years ago and, and i just thought that it was vampires and this and lovey dovey dovey and I, I just was like oh teen girls love this why should i watch mtv or vh1 whatever i think it's mtv I was like why should i do this and now like i'm just kind of like you know what i was kind of missing out on a good show like it ain't like you know award quality or anything but the mythology and the fun behind it and these characters that are very interesting. I like Scream. I like the Shannara Chronicles. And damn it, I should have gave Teen Wolf a chance. I'm not saying I'm going to go buy Teen Wolf stuff and everything and, you know, uh, get a tattoo of Teen Wolf or shit like that. But, I mean, I, I did enjoy this episode enough where I want to go check out the other seasons. I want to see previous stuff. This did make me become a, uh, a weekly person for Teen Wolf to check in every single week. And I am anticipating next week. I want to see where this story goes. I want to see where Styles is at. I want to see them try to fix this some way or another. And I want to see the Wild Hunt get their asses kicked and uh, hopefully their throats eaten out. Plus, that girl was naked in the junkyard and I was like, oh, you caught my interest there. Okay. Um, but, yeah. Overall, I'm going to give this episode of uh, Teen Wolf Season 6 Episode 1 a B- Plus, thanks for watching everyone. If you enjoyed, make sure to smack that like button. You can comment down below to me what you guys thought about the episode. Do you agree? Do you disagree? What was your favorite part and where do you think Styles is? Is he in another realm? Will we see what is going on? Will Tyler Hoechlin's character, I think his name is Derek, will he return? Anyway, share this with your friends. Hit that subscribe button for more awesome Team Wolf reviews weekly. Check out all the other content I do, guys. I do so much movie reviews, unboxings, video uh, game live streams, uh, just so much more, man. I, I mean, every, a lot of stuff. So much episode reactions to Walking Dead, American Horror Story, Noak. Check it all out. Till next time. See you next week. Bye bye. <laughs>